You feel that? I think an earthquake just happened. You really have to be careful during an earthquake because there's a lot of geologic hazards that might happen, including one called liquefaction. Stick around and I'm going to show you this activity called shaky sediments. Hi, I'm Eric Muller of the Explorer Charm Teacher Institute and I'm going to show you the phenomenon of liquefaction. I'm going to take this rigid building, which is really a brick, and I'm going to put it into my pan, which is filled with sand and water. If you look at the top, the top looks pretty dry. I'm going to put my building in there and it seems pretty rigid and it seems pretty stable. But watch what happens when an earthquake comes by and I'm going to make an earthquake by hitting my pan with a mallet. Ready? Here we go. Uh-oh. The ground is liquefied and the building falls over. Buildings can't be supported in this slurry of sands and water, so they fall over. This is a common occurrence in places that have liquefaction and that have a really high water table and are built buildings on top of unconsolidated sediments. Some of the ways you can compensate for it are to really compact your sediments really well or build structures that extend really deeply into the sediments. In the case of where San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge is, they're actually building structures over there in a really liquefaction prone area. And what they're doing is they're injecting uh, cements into the ground to hold the sediments together. Another really interesting phenomenon happened during the 1989 earthquake called the Loma Prieta earthquake in San Francisco. The Exploratorium, um, for most of its existence, was over near the Golden Gate Bridge or the Marina District. Let me show you what happened over there besides the building falling over. I'm going to actually take out the building and I'm going to show you a new phenomenon. And this phenomenon deals with things that are buoyant, that are underground. So I'm going to take this ping pong ball and I'm going to refluff the soil. And this time I'm going to bury a ping pong ball just like they bury sewers and they bury fuel tanks. In the Marina District, they had a lot of fuel tanks that were used in the old homes and they weren't used for years and years and years. When the earthquake happened, it made the water come out of the interstices and watch what happens to that ping pong ball over there, just like the fuel tanks in the Marina District. By the way, I could use this with my mallet, but I'm going to use a different device to get the shaking going. I'm going to use this drill that I put a weight on so it makes it offset. It's going to vibrate. Watch what happens. Here comes the ping pong ball. The ground is liquefying and the ball is floating up in it, just like sewer lines and fuel tanks and any underground storage container. Pretty cool. That's another thing you got to watch out for when it comes to liquefaction. What is under the ground, not just what's above the ground. In order to do this activity, you're going to need the following materials. You're going to need sand as your sediment. You're going to need a pan to hold it, probably about as deep as your palm will work, but only use a metal or a plastic pan. Don't use glass. You're going to need some water to add to your sediments. Also, a good idea would be to have some type of stirring or mixing device, and you're going to need your buildings to show what's going to happen. Um, a heavy building would be a good way to go. Over here I have a brick that happens to be painted and drawn with little windows and a door in it, and also you might want to grab something really light and buoyant like ping pong balls. You're going to need to vibrate your chamber when everything is ready to go. You can do it by hand, you can do it with a mallet, or if you want to get even more advanced, you can do it with something that will vibrate it with electricity, like in this case an orbital sander, or over here I have a drill that has a weight that helps make it offset. So this is how you prepare your sediments for this activity. First, I'm going to pour a little bit of water in. Then, 
I'm going to pour some sand in. By pouring the water in first, I help saturate the sand so it goes through the water. When you think you have enough sand in there, you might want to add a little bit more water and you can start mixing. What you want to do is you want to get a consistency where your sand and water just become damp. So right now I have a little too much water and I'm going to pour in a little more sand. You might need to add a little bit of water, a little bit of sand to make your sand water concoction just right. It's looking better and better. And if you notice, when you flatten this down, make sure that your water is also mixed throughout your sand grains. It's looking pretty good now. What you're looking for is sand that is moist, but there are no obvious puddles in it. When you think you're ready to go, you might want to give it a test. And I'm going to test this using my mallet over here. Let's see if it liquefies. Ready? Oh yeah, the water is coming up from down below. And this is going to work great. So what you're going to need to do is re-fluff it, unconsolidate your soils, mix it up again, get the water mixed up. And what I like to do with the extra sand is put that on top because you want to have a nice dry surface where you're going to be putting your structures. So now that this is flat, I'm going to add a little bit of dry sand on top. And this is where we'll be putting our buildings. This is a great activity to show the phenomenon of liquefaction. If you're going to use this in your classroom, besides showing the science of liquefaction and what happens, you can use this for engineering challenges too. So you can try to build structures that would survive inside your container, that would sur survive that slurry of sand and water. You can also do something just to surprise the kids. You can actually bury your ping pong ball or your other buoyant devices inside your sands just to kind of start off your class with that and to show those things popping out. So have fun with this thing and keep shaking.